you should make a hey guys so today I just want to show you how to add a background image to blender and uh, enabling you to actually model with accuracy you'll see what I mean in a minute so uh, first uh, let's well first you want to download an image off the internet uh, like go to the, well I'll have the link in the description below but the hyphen blueprints.com has a bunch of blueprints so of various uh, objects that you can model with scale so now I'm just going to show you how to upload it into uh, blender so let's hit N to bring up our transform toolbar scroll down uh, click on background images click on the down arrow arrow click add image and click on this white arrow and open so now just open the image that you procured so now let's go to the one the front view and hit five and all right let's hit right let's hit hmm let me try it again add image not set open oh sorry that was the wrong image go uh, just go to wherever you saved it to there you go and there's your image now the one thing that you should know about this is the only way you can see the image is if you are in ortho view it says back ortho if i hit five and i'm in perspective now you can't see it you can only see it in ortho view because ortho view is a 2d perspective so which is why I can show a 2D image. So now when I, you know, when I move it, I can't see it. And that's a good that's a nice thing about it. Uh so now you can just tab into edit mode. Let's uh select the uh limit visibility option and hit A to deselect. Just box up these vertices and just grab them. And that way you can model your project with accuracy basically so that's a good thing about the background image it's not like if I render it uh, it won't show up let's render that yeah it won't show up so it's not for uh, not so you can have a background image in your picture but just as a reference I don't know if I'm making sense but just basically it's what it is so like uh, you can download human anatomy pictures so you can model a human uh, with in, in extreme accuracy um, I'll make another video showing you how to actually add a background image to to a picture if that's what you guys want but uh, for now this is just what I'm going to show you uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions or tips please comment below